Hello everyone. So today I'd like to bring you a fragrance from the house of Le Artisan Parfumeur. And this is Mirabilis. Now this has a 60 on it because I believe that it took 60 times to perfect the composition of this fragrance. The nose on this fragrance is Daphne Buggy or Bougie. Um, and she designed actually the whole line of these fragrances with a little bee on the bottle. It's supposed to be um, an interpretation of the garden or I guess the gardens in France and each one is supposed to be a representation of some aspect of a garden. Now I don't really get a garden vibe from this fragrance um, but I think that this is the best one out of the line. This is one of my favorite ones and let's get into what it smells like. So, the notes on this fragrance are musk, and it has some frankincense, a little bit, ambroxan, and the ambroxan is supposed to mimic like musk and amber, and it also said it had earthy notes which I guess might be soil or or dirt but this is this is really beautiful the frankincense I get a lot of frankincense and musk out of this and um, I can tell you that the performance on this line is a little bit better than the main Le Artisan Parfumer line. There are a lot of fragrances in that line that I find to be a little weak in performance. And at first I didn't appreciate that. I was, you know, kind of disappointed because I'm like, why should I spend so much money on a fragrance that's not going to last, that's not going to perform? But I've changed my tune a little bit. So, you know, you have to appreciate the artistry that goes into it. The bottle is just so marvelous. Can we just, can we just take a look? Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? And the little, the little bee on it is so cute. So this fragrance is unisex. It's not feminine at all. It's not masculine at all. Um, I mainly get frankincense and musk from this fragrance and it's it's really beautiful. I don't smell I don't smell an outright amber accord in this at all. Um I definitely get the musk. Um I get there's a little there's a little resinous from the frankincense that I I get that a lot. It smells very resin, uh, highly resinous, and sometimes the resin, like the the frankincense and the resins, it can give off like a vanilla scent. But there's no vanilla in this fragrance. It just, I think the 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 little tinge of of vanilla that I'm getting is coming from the, the resinous frankincense, and. Um, it's it's really gorgeous. This one, I have to use a few more sprays than normal. I really bathe in this when I put it on because the performance isn't completely lackluster, but it's not a powerhouse. Um, the longevity is probably clocks in around, I'm going to say three hours, a good solid three hours before it's a skin scent. I have gotten compliments on this and I'm going to talk about compliments in another video because everybody's up in arms. Don't don't be up in arms. It's, I'll explain why I, I, I am in the compliment crowd. You know, I'm on team compliments. But this is um, this is a very, very beautiful composition. 
and I really really admire the artistry that went into this I mean the whole line is is really really nice it's it's really well done um, Daphne uh, kudos to you girl <laughs> really like this one but this is very sexy it's it's understated sexiness you know you don't have to try too hard and it doesn't it doesn't really smell like anything else you know i i don't really i don't really i can't think of any dupes for this but if you like resins and you like musk and you're a fan of le artisan and you like the nose uh daphne bougie boogie if you like anything else that she's done i don't know what she's done offhand but if there are any others in the line um if you've smelled this line this one is is a good one to get if you only had to get one i would say this one if if you're into this type of fragrance if you like musk and resin so that's my review for miravallis and thank you for your time have a good day bye